Bites Diabetes World. Well, for you, it hasn't seemed like that long, but it's been about eight days since I've done the last video. So today, I thought, get back at it, Mike. <sighs> now, I think this becomes a little bit more prevalent, the subject I'm talking about, than normal. And that is just because my pump is showing that I'm still on high. I'm 18.4, but the good news is two arrows coming down. I don't know if you're able to see that. So, it's all good. It's coming down at least. I'm still going up, down, up, down. But, you know, th there's always going to be the people who said, oh, well, you're not allowed to eat that. You're a diabetic. And I read some new statistics saying that 5% of diabetics are the type 1. The rest of diabetics are either gestational or type 2. But type 1s can eat whatever they want. If I go out and I decide, oh, I want Twizzlers. And oh, that will be so good. I can have it. I just have to count the carbs and give the insulin for that. And you know what? Usually my blood sugar is pretty much in range. But that doesn't mean every time I go out, I have to get Twizzlers. I can tell you that plays off because things start to... Um, I've heard it as steam, but... You're going to he head into more trouble. Excuse me. Oh. Type 1 diabetes. You're going to inject the insulin as you need it. Type 2 medications. Release insulin. So that. The body. Can utilize. Sorry. Give medications. So your body can utilize the insulin better. Tongue tied today. And years ago, I was in the hospital and got very, sorry, before I went in, I got very sick. I ended up in DK and I can kind of trace it back to having a treat. And I think it was a piece of cake at um, a lunchtime. 
and then I really didn't go up that high or I wasn't feeling the symptoms and so I thought hell I can do this all the time so I started every trip every time I was around treats I'd have one And this just started to get better control of me. And during it, I didn't think, oh, well, I better stop, you know. I just thought, okay, I'll have it and I'll take more insulin. And eventually, you're going to have so much insulin in your system that it's all going to attack at the same time. And that's pretty well why a lot of doctors now are worried about stacking insulin where people take blood sugar oh I'm high I'll take more insulin oh I'm still high the next time and it doesn't allow the insulin to do any work and then all of a sudden all the insulin is together <sighs> I know personally that's got to be one of the worst things where you can't come out of a low and you just have to keep eating. I will have a treat now and again. I don't have them every day. And being older now, I would keep, when I worked for a convenience store, I used to give sweets out all the time. Like donuts and that. And I'd see all these things come across. And I never gave insulin to force a little. Oh, I like that. I'll give insulin. I always gave it after. And you have to think, you know, treating yourself does not always work well. In this circumstances. Oh I'll give more insulin. So. Having more insulin. Than you need on board. Oh well I have extra sugar. It will take care of it. That's not the thinking. You want to be eating correctly. And. I won't say. That I can't be led astray. Hell yes I can. But I've taken the approach, oh sorry, IH, that every day is a brand new start. Every blood sugar is a brand new start, actually. If you take a blood sugar and you're showing high, correct it right away. Get your blood sugar to come down and then move on from there. So often, oh, well, I'll start tomorrow morning. It's easier to do that. No, because the old adage, tomorrow never comes. I want you to take pride in having a normal blood sugar. I know I always seem to feel it after. If I've gone for days with a normal blood sugar and then all of a sudden my body decides I can, my body says, oh, okay, time to have a nap. I'm thinking back in my life when I used to work, you know, I have coke all the time out of the fountains and thinking back on it now, why? I like sweets. I'm, I'm the biggest sweet tooth. My favorite is Cherry Garcia ice cream from Ben & Jerry's. I don't know why. I've always liked cherry. Some of the, um, I think Lowry's does a cherry um, covered chocolate. Not uh, cherry, sorry. A chocolate covered cherry. And cherry blossoms I like. Yes, they're very sweet. But I always like them. But again, I don't have them every day. And it's probably easier that I don't work at a convenience store anymore. 
So I'm not around all these foods all the time. There are times when I wake up and my blood sugar is super high. I don't really feel like getting up and doing a blood sugar. I just want to sleep. And, uh... But on the other hand, other things can make you want to sleep. I know if I get a viral cold, I'm out for a couple of days. I will try to sleep it through. Now, when working, it wasn't always easy to do. But that's not the talk about. That's not what we're talking about. Glucose. can rise on its own. A lot of times it doesn't need help from you. Now, lately, I've learned how to do it. Um, sometimes I will say no to a treat. And the simple trick I started was immediately talking Instead of thinking, oh, how good that glazed donut would be. Start thinking, well, yeah, I'm going to get weight. My blood sugar later in the day because the fat is going to be higher. And I will turn around and turn it down. And, you know, if I, if we ended up, sometimes I go to work, okay? And this is later when I was working in the head office. And I'd go out for lunch to, I don't know, celebrate someone's in our department's birthday. And I would order a meal and then dessert. But that was because I, I didn't know about this. And I just made sure I counted correctly. And a lot of times it works. But don't just assume, oh, well, yeah, I've got the center control. Yeah, yeah, that looks about right. Anyway, something to think about. Take care of your health. It'll take care of you. Have a great day. We'll talk later. Bye now.